I'm Val Cole, and this is Hamilton Life. We've got a cooker of a show today. Lots of information. Here comes uh, cancer survivor Laura Jean Falla and Yvette Weber here to talk about their battles with multiple myeloma and what they're doing to help others through this very same process. It's, it's uh, very inspiring what they're doing. Later on in the show, Chef Kang from his Thai restaurant Pinto will talk about this year's Nosh culinary extravaganza running until the 29th. And uh, we're not letting him out of here without first letting me try some of his recipes. But for First, the Southwestern Ontario Black Entrepreneurship Network helps black entrepreneurs succeed and thrive by building strong business foundations. Joining me now is Francoise Iseda Kedi and Tapiwa Musewe. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thriving is the key. Right, Francoise? Thriving. You want yes. black entrepreneurs to not only uh, uh, harness their, their business savvy mm -hmm. and, and their creative ideas, mm -hmm. but then for those businesses to um, take root yes. and, and grow from there, right? Exactly, exactly. We want to empower those businesses with the knowledge they need to actually face any challenge that comes along the entrepreneurial journey. Uh, it can be very isolating um, as an entrepreneur. And so um, the Swoban program is really a network that helps uh, fill that gap. And uh, it provides you with uh, you know, the business foundations you need uh, to know to be able to, uh, to go places and thrive. That's yeah. so important because you think of COVID and how many businesses had to pivot on a dime to continue. That's the sort of challenge an entrepreneur faces every day. Mm -hmm. And so it's so wonderful. Here yes. you are, a participant of this great program, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're here to say it works. It's worked for me. It worked, and it did work for me. Um, I initially started off as a mobile, uh, I'm an optician, registered. And uh, initially I started as mobile, ha didn't have a brick and mortar. And when the program came along after the COVID uh, time, um, I enrolled and was in cohort one and was able to acquire a practice, an optical practice through the support of the, of the program. So they helped you find an actual physical space? What happened was um, they helped, the first step, steps was to actually get myself as an entrepreneur up to speed with what was needed in um, bas basically becoming, uh, having, owning a brick and mortar. They didn't find the brick and mortar for me. I, I had found they it. They gave you the skills to they find it. They gave me the skills to find it and the tools. So for example, something like a 42 page business, uh, uh, business um, uh, s summary of mm -hmm. what it is you're trying to buy, a business plan. That was something that uh, I was able to s get support with. So why did you feel this was such an important um, program to, do, to, to have available? Well, you mentioned it. There was COVID and it was a hard time for old businesses, really. And we also know what happened with um, uh, the, B, uh, the BLM movement mm. uh, in, in the US. So I think uh, it was the right time uh, for mm. us to actually build that network. Um, people realized that there was a gap. You know, um, I mentioned that earlier, being an entrepreneur is a tough, is a top, tough endeavor. And especially if you are a minority and you don't have access to things that, you know, um, the average person would have access to, the average entrepreneur would have access to, um, you need that kind of network that helps you um, find, um, find your footing, you know, get the tools you need to be able to go out there and, and just, you know, go about your business knowing that you have the knowledge, the foundation, um, the know-how to access what you need to access to Fantastic. actually strive. Here yeah. you are. You've brought some examples of your fabulous business. You, so you, uh, you do exams plus you sell uh, glasses? That's correct. So it's, 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 it's a nice, it's, in the ocular healthcare industry, it's a nice balance between fashion and ocular health. I always look at it as priority is your ocular health. How is the organ working? And that's why we have that little eyeball. The eyeball is the, the, table is the symbol of all of this coming together at that's once? Correct. That's correct. How so? Correct. It's, the eyeball is, for me, I, my journey in the ocular industry has been so long. It's, it started with just having passion about how do we see, what is it all about? And uh, so that's where I focused on. And so the eyeball is an organ that helps us to to obviously see, it's, it just gathers all the light that's necessary, takes it to the brain, 
it's and it's and it we were able to see or perceive it's quite vision. miraculous however sometimes some things in the eyeball might not be working so well so guess what we need eyeglasses mm -hmm. to help that organ function well can and i try is, a pair on yes you may so um the practice the uh, dragon vision care just um got an account with sarowski because it's now a balance between your ocular health correcting that the, the, uh, with glasses and looking and then looking fabulous, fabulous while doing that so this is um, what great. this is all about. Thank you. They suit you very well. They actually suit you quite well. Are they yeah. okay? They yeah. sit well on, on the bridge of your nose. Yeah. You want to get more people involved because you were in cohort one. That's correct. There's now cohort two and three. Cohort two finished uh, this past winter. So now in March, we're launching cohort three. Okay. How do and people get involved? Well, registration is now open. Uh, so if you go on our website, uh, you know, empowermentsquared.org, you'll be able to, uh, to find the Swoban page. Okay. And registration is open until February 29th. So um, it's a very, you know, short form to, uh, to fill out. And then one of our coordinators will follow up uh, with you um, to give you more information and to help you, uh, you know, to help you set up uh, and go from there. We've got about 30 seconds. Would you recommend people do this? I, I totally do. I recommend anyone who's interested and anybody who's actually put the work in before to, to uh, join the cohort um, three. If, mm -hmm. yeah. if you have a dream, it can it. be a reality. It can. Because when you've got somebody who can just guide you along the way, it makes all the difference. Helps really put you does. in touch with the people you need to, mm -hmm. to uh, make things happen. What a fantastic program. Thank you. For all the information, the website is? EmpowermentSquad.org. And it's the Swoban page. That's where you can find the information about how to register to the program. Brilliant. Yes. All right. We'll see you soon when you have more stuff to tell us. <laughs> After the break, Laura Jean Fala and Yvette Webb from the Hamilton and District Multiple Myeloma Network Support Group will be here to tell us their stories. It's very important to hear.